Uh-oh, if you want to prevent this from happening again, you should definitely check a few things before upgrading to the latest RTX 30 series graphics cards. The first impression that everyone has when they first see the Oris RTX 30 GPU series is how massive it is. It's designed this way for good reason, to deliver better cooling, max covered cooling to be exact. Compared with the previous generation, they are much longer and much taller, so you have to make sure your PC case is big enough to accommodate them. For the RTX 30 series, we recommend going for at least a mid-tower case like our Gigabyte C200 glass or Aorus C300 glass for better compatibility. However, if you plan to pair your graphics cards with a bigger EATX motherboard, which is suitable for an open loop water cooling system, then you should go for a flagship case. The second thing you need to check is your power supply unit or PSU. Both the RTX 3090 and RTX 3080 are power-hungry beasts, consuming well over 300 watts at the peak. Even the recently launched RTX 3070 requires at least 200 watts of power. Here's a table showing the recommended power supply for your RTX 30 graphics cards. If you're going for an RTX 3070, a 650 watt PSU is recommended. If you want to overclock, 750 watts is probably a better bet. For RTX 3080s, you need a minimum of 750 watts, but if you want to go higher, 850 watts might be a safer option. Lastly, if you want to go extreme with the RTX 3090, you will need a PSU of at least 850 watts. And if you'd like to push the performance limits of your system, then you're going to have to look at something more powerful like a 1000 watt PSU. The most important thing that you need to check is your CPU. It still plays an important role for your premium gaming experience, and the wrong CPU selection will lead to a huge FPS drop while gaming with any RTX 30 graphics cards. Because the RTX 30 cards are quite powerful, they'll easily cause your CPU to bottleneck. So we recommend you pair your GPU with a higher end CPU. We have done some game testing with the RTX 3090 and various CPUs to see how the CPU will affect the FPS in game. As you can see, different CPUs lead to a huge FPS difference under certain CPU sensitive games at 1080p. For example, you will have 50% more FPS in Total War Saga Troy if you upgrade from the 3900 XT to the 5900X CPU. In conclusion, if you want to squeeze the very best performance out of your RTX 30 series graphics cards, just go for a better CPU so you'll have less bottlenecking. We hope this video helps you build a better gaming PC and enjoy your RTX 30 series GPU pushing it to the best of its performance. Feel free to leave us questions or comments below. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.